Greetings, my name is Lima Pasha. I'm an executive wellness coach and business consultant. I teach women business owners and professionals to manifest wellness. So they go from drained to reclaimed. I wanted to ask everyone today, um, what's keeping you from losing the last 10 pounds that you've been trying to lose over the past 10 years? What's making you tired and taking you away from fun and fulfilling life with your loved ones? Do you feel like you're living at half of your potential energy? Is this you? If it is, I can relate because I have had all of these experiences. Recently, I lost 40 pounds and I've helped clients through my coaching program to also lose weight. I've also battled and released fibroids. I'm a trained women's wellness advocate and I can help you through things that you may be going through with wound wellness. I know that 60% of black women are obese. 57% of Black women have high blood pressure, and Black women continue to dominate the percentage of women having hysterectomies. You are not another number. You are infinitely gifted. What would it mean to have 57% more energy and vitality? What could you do? If you are ready to manifest wellness and go from drained to reclaimed, ready to access your power vitality, looking for innovative ways to change these statistics, I challenge you to triumph against illness. My coaching can be a catalyst. Join me for the Mindfulness Power Hour every Wednesday and book a strategy call with me. Information about the Mindfulness Power Hour that's held on Wednesdays at 12 noon PST is in the description box here. And I wanna tell you a little bit more about me. So um, I became an executive wellness coach because uh, I was a communications specialist and executive working with several different departments and high ranking directors um, and even electeds to uh, position programs and services uh, and also to raise funds. So um, I've done this for over 20 years. And one typical day when I was heading to work, I grabbed my keys to head out the door um, and this was going to be like, a, I knew it was going to be a long day of work followed by evening board meetings. So um, unfortunately, instead of getting to the car, my heart started racing, beating, pumping so fast. It felt like my whole body was shaking and I felt dizzy and um, like I was going to faint. So instead of getting to the car, I ended up in an ambulance with the EMT holding her fingers up saying, how many fingers am I holding today? And asking me a wave of questions just to keep me awake. Uh, and then they put um, patches on my chest to monitor my heartbeat. Um, and I heard them say that my heart was racing over 221 beats per minute and my respiration was low. And then I felt the um, oxygen mask being placed on my face and it felt and tasted like relief because I was really at this point gasping for air. It was really, really uncomfortable. And so this takes me back, <laughs> it takes me back to this time. And it wouldn't have been, it wasn't the only time that I experienced this, but this is the most vivid in my mind. Um, and then I, so I arrived at the hospital and doctors and nurses were moving around really fast, talking in rushed voices. And I heard that they were going to have to give me a shot of adenosine to um, slow down my heartbeat and normalize it. 
So what could have been just a typical day ended up being a day where I was faced with my mortality. And it brought me back to who I was at my core. I'm just a girl from Oakland and San Francisco who loved to make mud pies in the backyard and like to walk through the creek and like to dance to Odie's music. And also, I remember my mom driving me to San Francisco where my grandmother lived. And when we passed through the financial district, we would see people who were experiencing homelessness, as well as people dressed up in fancy outfits going to work. And I would always be really touched by the homelessness. I would think, man, the people who are homeless are not devoid of good. And the people who are uh, who appear to be wealthy and dressed up didn't have it all figured out either. The only way to truly be free is to get back to nature, the true nature of who you are and to uh, experience wellness on a natural level. So um, uh, after the after this experience, um, I just just it just brought me back to reflect on who I am, you know, and it, it really, really touched me. It, it made me think of how, you know, we have to experience and go through things in order to get back in touch with the need to focus on our wellness. You know, first I had to experience the weight gain, the loss, the health scares that too many midlife executives face. It felt like my weakness was putting work before my wellness and not knowing how to support my wellness. My weakness was not asking for help and it was trying to remain in control while being out of control. And so I was faced with that weakness on June, 2011. After that, you know, I really went on a search for my health and vitality. I totally changed my diet. Um, I studied different exercise practices. I found a uh, naturopathic doctor who is trained to help women um, release fibroids naturally. And I went through her certification program. And so now I love to have uh, women's circles where we can learn and, and grow. And I can coach women about how to lose weight, how to release fibroids, and how to regain their energy. So, you know... It, it's so it's so amazing just to to know my purpose and my gift and how I can harness all of this. And this is something that I can help women with. You know, what is it that you've been doing for a really long time that you're good at? And how can you do that in a way that supports your vitality? And what is it that you're doing or what is it that you're holding on to that is stopping you from having your vitality? How can you get to that point and that stage in your life where you're really savoring life? Your income is going up, 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 and you're going from drained to reclaimed. I want to support you in that. So... Again, like I said, join me for my Mindfulness Power Hour every Wednesday at 12 noon. And also book a call with me, a strategy call related to your wellness or your business goals um, at www.limapasha.com.